I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. All of my help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Praise the Lord to everybody this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord to everybody in Jesus' name. We thank God for another day that he has allowed us to see. And for another chance and opportunity he has allowed us to assemble ourselves together. We are here to give him glory. We are here to give him honor and praise. We are here to worship him in spirit and in truth. But we know that without him, we would be nothing. Without him, we would be long. Without him... We would but fail in Jesus' name. But because he cared so much, he came, he died, he rose again the third day that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly in Jesus' name. To him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. We're glad to see that you have chosen to come out this morning. We thank God for this day of January the 22nd, 2022, 23 in Jesus' name that God has allowed us to be here. We come here to give him what is due unto him. For he said in the I, if I, the son of man, be lifted up from the earth, I would draw all men unto me in Jesus' name. How many come here to glorify the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 We come here to lift up his name. We come here to worship him. This is morning worship, and we come here to worship him in Jesus' name. So as we prepare to start our morning worship in Jesus' name, as I like to say often, clear your plate, clear your mind. For all the activities that you know you're probably going to have going on after we leave here or maybe next week. Whatever situation, just clear it all out right now. Just get yourself, your heart, your mind, your hands, your body, your soul, your every, all your energy. Put it on giving God what he asked for in Jesus' name. We come here to worship this morning. We come to worship him in spirit and in truth in Jesus' name. We're going to sing our song. We're going to clap our hands. Lord, we welcome you in this place this morning lord in jesus name we welcome you in this place go from period to period go from heart to heart breast to breast touch your people right now lord have your way let your will be done your time is our time in jesus name we look to you you the author you the finisher of our faith in jesus name so we give honor this morning to you we honor our pastor district ever fred martin jr Lady Sharon Martin, to Ethel Jefferson, Lady Jefferson in Jesus' name, to the mother, Mother Nicholson, all the mothers in the house, all the people of God that is in this place right now. How many glad to be here this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be in the service one more time. He didn't have to let me be here, but I'm glad to be in the service one more time. Lord, we say have your way. Have your way. Go from the musicians out to the pews, Lord, to the doors, to the pulpit, to the choir stand, to the sound booth, to everywhere, even the microphones, Lord. We ask you right there, Lord, to be in them. Be in them right now. Have your way. Let your will be done. So at this time, we're going to call to worship our morning worship. We ask everyone that can stand to stand as we call to worship in Jesus' name. We will have our open the song. Let us all join and clap, sing our hands, and give God the glory. Let the song of the Lord 
this morning in Jesus name we all are here because somebody took the time to pray for us somebody had you had you had you on their mind you know what they did they didn't just say I'm thinking about it but they took the time they took the time to call your name out if we had a mirror here I can every one of them had a mirror to put in front of you said somebody took the time to pray for me and you look at that mirror you know what you need to do turn that mirror around Take the time to pray for somebody else. I need prayer. Hallelujah. I need prayer. You need prayer. We all need prayer. We're here because somebody took the time to pray for us. We actually pray one for another that God will continue to be done in our lives in Jesus' name. Every stronghold, every weight, and every sin that does so easily beset us that we will overcome in Jesus' name. Because God has brought us from a mighty long way. This is the year of 2023. If you'd asked us when we were young, would we see this time? Most of us, this won't happen, but look what the Lord has done. This is marvelous. This is marvelous in our sight in Jesus' name. We're going to give him all the glory, all the honor, and praise for it. But there's some here that we have here on our prayer list that need our prayers as well. Some is Loved ones has gone on in Jesus' name. Pray for the family. Pray for the family of Josephine Terrain, the Harkaday family. Pray for Donna Gallup Jr., Howard Lynch, Kiva Square, Charles Square, Connie Palmer, Cashmere Gibson, Maurice Bruce. Pray for the victim of the mass shooting all over the United States. Pray for our nation, the country of Ukraine. Pray for our communities. Pray for the peace of Israel in Jesus' name. Pray also, remember, as we approach the Holy Grace, remember our seniors, Mother Mamie Martin, Mother Margaret Nicholson, in Jesus' name, God, I give her the strength once again to be here in the congregation, Elder and Mother Whitley, Brother and Mother Richardson, Minister Albert, and Mother Sarah Stalin, in Jesus' name. Pray for the names and families, the groups, countries, and communities that was that is listed here on our prayer list that God will continue to have his way in Jesus' name. How many know God is in all control? Amen. He is in all control. Nothing get by his watch or eye because his words that behold, he that keepeth Israel neither slumber nor sleep in Jesus' name. And one thing about the God that we serve, one of the things, there's many things about him, one of the things about the God that we serve, he cannot lie. He cannot lie. If he said it, if he said it, it shall come to pass. We just got the faith, have the faith to believe that all things are possible to them that believe. In Jesus' name. We'll have a prayer song. We'll go before the Lord in prayer.
and in your time and in your heart pain. Gracious God, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Truly, you are the righteous one. You're the holy one. All power in heaven and in earth is in your hand. It is you that sit high and look low, and you behold it all things. And you have the power to do any and everything. So we look to you this morning. We call upon your name because your name is a strong tower. We know that the righteous run into it and it saved this morning. So Lord, as we prepare to approach your throne of grace right now, Lord, we ask you right now to have your way in our midst right now, Lord. Throw from heart to heart right now. Touch your people right now, Lord. You know what we stand in need of even before we ask, Lord. So Lord, right now, we ask you right now, Lord, to look down on us in a mighty way. Breathe on us right now, Lord. Let your spirit fill this place right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless your people, Lord. For each of us woke up this morning, Lord, hopefully with our hearts and our minds on you to come to assemble ourselves together, Lord, that we may worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. You brought us through another week, Lord, as we went and do the things that we had to do, Lord. You protected us as we travel the highway, Lord, as we say so often from dangerous seen and unseen, Lord. You spared us. You kept us. Lord, it could have been us, Lord, that vehicle was broke down alongside the road, Lord, but Lord, you spared it, Lord. It could have been us, Lord, on the news, Lord, saying that loved ones are missing, Lord, but Lord, you brought us here again. It could be our door, Lord, that bombs have been dropped at our door, our house destroyed, Lord, but because, Lord, in Jesus' name, you sit high and you look low, we have this chance and this opportunity to call on your name, so Lord, as we have chance and opportunity, we lift up our eyes this morning. We call upon you right now. Now, Lord, send help from thy sanctuary right now and strengthen us out of Zion, Lord. Bless your people, those that don't know you in the part of the sins. Give them a mind before the everlasting too late, Lord. Touch them right now. Take out the stony heart and put in the heart of flesh, Lord, that they may seek your face while you may be found, Lord. Fill them with your spirit because your word said you are not willing that any should pass that all should come to repentance. And Lord, we believe it because you said it this morning. We walk by faith and not by sight, Lord. We ask you right now to have your way in our midst right now. Touch your people right now, Lord. Help us right now. Everyone that is under the sign of my voice in this congregation right now, touch them right now. Touch their family, their homes right now. The husband, their wives, their children, Lord, their nieces, their nephews, Lord, their grandchildren. Have your way right now, Lord. For Lord, you said the promises were to us, and we accept it can be for them as well, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Those names and families that were called out of our prayer list right now, Lord, bless them in a mighty way, Lord. Let them know. Let them feel the prayer of the saints going up before them right now, Lord. Help them right now. Send help from your sanctuary right now. Touch the world that are doing, going through their times of bereavement. Touch the family heart, comfort their hearts right now, Lord. Let them know you still in control right now, Lord. Bless for your name, sake and for your glory. Look on, Lord, every name that was called out on that prayer list. Those that need you in their lives, bless them right now. Those that are going through their time of sickness, heal them right now, Lord. Those that are standing at the crossroad, not knowing which way to go, bring them through right now. Those that need a deliverance, deliver them right now. Send help, Lord. Send help right now. Bless every morning worship service that's going on throughout this land. Them that are calling on you out of a prayer heart right now. Hear that cry, hear that prayer, that supplication right now. And they want answers from your throne right now. Look on us here at this local congregation as I pastor the prayer that brings forth the word of God right now. Open up our ears, Lord. Lord, in Jesus' name, circumcise our hearts right now, Lord, that we may receive your word. Lord, let the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our heart, Lord, let it be acceptable in our sight. For Lord, you truly are our redeemer. You are our keeper. You are our everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh! 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's your main study for our scripture reading. Zion is calling me to our higher place of praise. Hallelujah. How many want to go higher? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Want to go higher. Want to go higher. A higher place of praise. This morning we have our scripture reading. We'll read Psalms 51. For those that have the Bible, you can find and read and follow along with us in your Bible, Psalms 51. And for those that do not in the sanctuary, you can read and follow along with us via the monitor to my left and the right. Psalms 51, very familiar passage of scriptures. We'll read verses 1 through 15 responsibly, and then we'll read verse 15 all together. Psalms 51, verses 1 through 15. You have it, say amen. amen. And it reads, beginning with verse, verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto thy multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgressions. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sins are ever before me. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Verse 15 all together. O oh Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Amen. Amen. You may be seated at this time in Jesus' name. We thank God for the reading of Psalms 51, verses 1 through 15. At this time, we're going to move to our morning announcements in Jesus' name. They'll be read to us this morning by First Lady Sharon Martin. Let's greet her with a hearty amen.
good morning and praise the Lord to everybody. Good morning and praise the Lord to everybody. Amen, amen. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord on today. We honor God for his grace and for his mercy and for his kindness toward us. Amen. Just for watching over us and protecting us and giving us safe travels over the dangerous highways and airways and allowing us to be back home. We thank God for the opportunity to travel down uh, to Myrtle Beach on this week. We were in our annual uh, ministers and deacons' wives uh, retreat that's held every year in January, and we had a wonderful time of fellowship and relaxation, relaxation, amen, amen, because uh, if we don't take time to rest our bodies and our minds, they will take a break on us, amen, <laughs> amen, and uh, amen, if you ever had your body shut down and say, it's enough. Man, you'll know from then on to listen to it <laughs> and give it the breaks that it needs so it doesn't shut down on you. Amen. And the same thing goes for the mind. Amen. People have mental stress and we, we, we amen, recognize the body, but sometimes we forget the mind. Amen. And, and when the mind shut down on you, it's not a good place to be. It's not a good place to be. But we thank God that we have time to rest our bodies and, to, and our minds and to receive good fellowship. They had some good workshops and classes for uh, ministers and deacons' wives. It's for the women and the men to go together Amen, in the name of the Lord. The Lord gave us safe passage and brought us back, and we are glad about it. I was glad to get back home. Amen. This time, we're, we're going to bless the Lord in our giving. Care where you go and how much you enjoy yourself. Amen. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask you to stand with your gifts and your offerings in your hand. So good to see all of you in the house of the Lord on today. Amen, amen. And we trust that you are off to a good start in 2023. 2023, this is, amen, is this third Sunday, fourth Sunday? This is fourth Sunday, yeah. We started on Sunday this time, so this is fourth Sunday. The month is already done, amen, and uh, a twelfth of this year is just about gone already. Amen. So it, it behooves us, amen, to kind of get things in order and get on. Uh, I'll be on our way to do the Lord's business. Let us bow our heads. Gracious God, again, we come to you today just to say thank you. Man. Thank you for all of your blessings that you have bestowed upon us and God we come God to worship you and to glorify your name on today God we ask you now that whatever it is we brought with us that might be a burden to us today give us amen hallelujah the grace and the understanding that we can lay it all on the altar of sacrifice today you cast Amen. All your cares unto me, you said, because I care for you, God. We lay our burdens upon you, God. We ask you now to lift our hearts and our minds, God. We ask you now, in the name of Jesus, to move situations that are beyond our control, God. We ask you now to allow your healing touch, uh, God, and on our bodies and on our minds, and God, we ask you right now to just give your angels charge, amen, over, amen, our places of residence and our places of occupation, God. Just 
just set an atmosphere. Oh God, hallelujah, that we might work and be in peace, amen, and have the freedom and the liberty of your spirit rule over our hearts and our minds. Now bless us all today as we bring our gift to you. God bless the hand that holds the gift. God bless the gift that is given and the ground that this seed is planted in. And we give your name, the glory, the honor, and the praise. We ask in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Let us come from the rear. Let us come from the rear. spirit of liberality we thank you for amen it in advance knowing that whatever God had laid upon your hearts to give it is sufficient to meet our needs amen and we thank you in the name of the Lord amen we thank God for everybody that's here this morning those that are in the sanctuary and those of you that will be catching these services later on today Amen, on our YouTube and our Facebook. This morning, we're going to speak to your hearts the word of God coming from Jeremiah chapter number 18. Book of Jeremiah chapter number 18. And we're going to read verses 1 through 6.
Jeremiah chapter number 18, verses 1 through 6. If you have it, stand, please. Amen. As we reverence, acknowledge the presence of the Lord. Amen. In this house and through his word. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter number 18, verses 1 through 6. And they read as follows. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And uh, the vessel that he made of clay was marred in his hand, in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, could not I do with you as this potter, said the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the hand, in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. And we're going to talk to you this morning from the subject of work in progress. A work in progress. Let us pray. Gracious God, again we come to say thank you for your blessings. God, we thank you for this opportunity to worship you in the beauty of holiness, to be in your sanctuary, hallelujah. God, we thank you for your people that have gathered in this place today. We ask now that you would let your anointing be free and flow in this place. God, use your servant for your glory and for your honor. Let whatever be said, amen, let it be done and said that you might get the glory out of it. Bless your word, the ear, the hearer, and the heart that receives it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. You might be seated. A work in progress. Amen. We have kind of chosen as a theme for this year, amen, 2023, the year of me, amen. And we all have committed to work on ourselves, to work on ourselves, amen, for uh, the Lord have asked us that if we would work out our own salvation with fear and with trembling, amen, and therefore, amen, as we work on ourselves, amen, we don't want to be selfish, we do want to acknowledge that we all got some work to do, amen, we all got to do some work, amen. And uh, sometimes, even when you're working on yourself, you need a little help from somebody else, amen. Amen, I, 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 amen. <laughs> sometimes you get an itch that you can't reach. <laughs> can, I, can I just make it simple, amen, amen. Sometimes I have to ask, Sister Sharon, if, uh, honey, will you get that spot right back there for me? I've been, somehow I can't reach it, right? Amen. And so you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Some things we can do completely on our own. Some things we can, we can work out, and some things are worked out better by ourselves. Amen. Some things we have to go into our little secret closet by ourselves and talk to the Lord about it, amen, because he's the only one I know that you can talk to. I mean, really share your, your deepest emotions and fears without regret because he will never, hmm, he will never violate your confidence. You can tell Jesus, amen, as the song said, Jesus can help me and Jesus alone. So 
Some things we work out, amen, together. Some things we work on by ourselves, but we must work. We must work on ourselves. The text that we read today in Jeremiah, Jeremiah was a, was, was a prophet during a horrendous and sad time in the history of Israel. Amen. He was a prophet mostly to the, amen, uh, Judah. Amen. Uh, and uh, he watched them walk away from God. He walked, watched them openly, amen, uh, defy God's word and to deny what they knew to be true, amen, and to choose to walk in a different path. Uh, we call Jeremiah the weeping prophet. Amen. He said uh, he wish. Amen. He could, if he could, he would cry a river of tears. Amen. Anybody that's truly saved and living in this world today, and see what we are becoming. Amen. A nation that calls itself a Christian nation, amen, and uh, <laughs> those of you that know the history of our nation, amen, know that that's, that, that, that's not really uh, what we're about. This nation is about the freedom of religion, where man can worship God as he chooses. Our country has no national religion. Even the men that, amen, wrote that constitution and wrote, amen, those documents that we hold so dear, amen. They may have been of a Christian leaning, but their intention, amen, was to not have a government that ruled over them Amen. And demanded them to worship in any particular way or form. Okay. And so, amen. And, and, and many of their practices, if you followed them, uh, were not exactly what I would call Christ-like. Okay. So let's, let's get that out the way now. Amen. But, amen. The fact that the Bible influenced everything they did, okay, uh, we cannot deny our laws, amen, uh, our, our, our operation based upon, amen, a biblical point of view, all right, and so, uh, to see us stray so far from what most of the people in this nation believe in our lifestyle, our way of living, our morality, our, amen, uh, God-like stance, amen, uh, values of life and liberty and freedom and Amen. God created all of us as free moral agents. God created all of us with the ability to think and to choose. Amen. And, 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 and he, he gave us something. He gave nothing else in his creation. Is the ability to choose to disobey him. Everything else in nature. goes by the laws that he has created for them. Amen. The tree, roots grow down, and its branches grow up. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Fruit bears only the fruit that's placed in its seed. Now, we might do genetic engineering, 
But that fruit don't change us, huh? Right. Amen. And, and, and so uh, God created. Genesis says, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Genesis 1 and 1. Uh, uh, but Genesis 2 and 2 lets us know that now everything God was going to create was created. And now he's finished. He's finished. In other words, he created in Genesis 1. And Genesis 2 simply tells us that God finished all of his works. And in the seventh day, he rested. God ain't creating nothing else, y'all. He did a finished work. He did a finished work. Amen. And when he created us, he created us the way he wanted us to be. Amen. Amen. Finished. Finished. And he created us in his image and after his likeness. Amen. And, and, and that's why there are some things that, amen, our founding fathers didn't control. The image of their creator was in them. And don't you know whether you believe in God or not, he controls you, he's sovereign. He can make you do things <laughs> that reflect him and you don't even believe in him. I hope y'all get that. Huh? Everybody that God breathed the breath of life in, there's something in them that resembles their creator. Hmm? Because Genesis 2 said he finished. He finished, completed all of his works, and then he rested. He rested. Can I say that uh, the Bible is not a complete record of God's creation and not upset anybody? Okay, I, I, I just want to make sure. Some people get confused. Amen. God don't have to tell us everything. He tells us what he wants us to know. And not only that, he reveals himself as we mature and are able to understand, huh, him just a little bit more. Just like we do our children. We don't tell our children everything. Some things we don't tell them until they ask. And if they're not ready for it when they ask, we, huh? <laughs> we give them just enough to satisfy. Mm -hmm. Their curiosity. But God created everything. And when he got done, he was finished. Look at somebody say, a finished work. He, a finished work. A finished work. Everything that's in a seed that can produce is, is in there. It's already in there. You can't add nothing else to it. It's there. Okay. So everything God wanted us to be, he created in us. He created Adam. But when he said it's not good for Adam to be alone, he didn't have to go create something else. Because <laughs> he reached in him. In him. Oh, uh, man, I feel something there. He reached in him and took out what he already created. It's some stuff in you you don't even know. God has already put it there. Amen. And it's got to be wrought out. Worked out of you. Finish work. Finish work. Finish work. And so he told Israel, I made you all. I didn't choose you because you were the greatest or the largest, amen, but I chose you because you were the least, 
And I wanted to show the world that I am the creator. I make what I want. I deserve. Uh. God has intelligently designed everything around you. He knew you before you were in your mother's womb because he made you a long time ago and, and he rested. <laughs> Amen. He rested. But what's so special about man? You know, uh, Prophet Rose said, who is man? That God is even mindful of him. That, 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 that's somebody that had a proper perspective on who they are and who God is. Because, amen, the man now is so proud they don't consider God. Amen. amen. Man think that, man, I'm everything. I am the be all, end all. I am all of that and a bag of chips. But without God, we are nothing. God, amen, uh, 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 took Israel like an a, 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 a infant that had been thrown away. Jesus. Rescued her. Hmm? Nourished her. Made her great among the nations. He, he subdued kingdoms for Israel. Amen. They still fighting in the Middle East because God took what somebody else had and gave it to them as a permanent possession. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. God took Canaan. People were already living there. They already had houses built. They already had crops. The crops were so great, amen, that when they went over and spied the land, it said the bunches of grapes were so big. Mm. Oh, I wish I could preach this one. Amen. And God let Israel know, I made you. And here you are now going to reject me? Jesus. Jeremiah could see that judgment was coming. Church judgment coming on this land. Amen. People don't believe it can happen in the United States. Huh? We're setting ourselves up for the biggest failure you ever seen in your life. You know, the United States is the only superpower now. Russia is diminished. <laughs> China is developing. They don't have the strength and the technology. They got the numbers, but, huh? But man, we got it all. We got it going on over here. We used to make stuff. Now we don't even bother to make stuff no more. We let the poor folks over there make it so we don't have to pay for manufacturing. And then we bring it over here and sell it for a thousand times what it's worth because we got it like that. Hmm? Hey man, we got it like that. We, we rich. We are rich. No, we're not. We just in debt. We just got good credit. Our credit about to be tested, y'all. Oh, I wish. Uh -huh. But Israel got kind of feeling like that, you know. And God had to let them know. He said, Jeremiah, I, I, I want to give you a message for my people. I, I want you to go down to the potter's house. Yeah. And I want to show you, amen, that, 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 that they are just my workmanship, but I'm the creator. <laughs> amen. We, we, we are just pawns in God's hand. And he can do with us what he will. He don't have to ask us. He don't ask. God does stuff sometimes, and I, I'll be honest with you. I lay down at night, and I shake my head. I say, God, 
I know your word says all things work together for good, but Lord, how can any good thing come out of this? Ella Jefferson, and I'm still asking. I remember when you lost your sister and brother-in-law, and God allowed all the kids to survive and took them. It was right after I faced death, and I begged God to let me live so I could take care of these two right here. Not them. See, I, I, it been so long ago, I, I get them mixed up with the ones that I, huh? But for their daddy and their uncle, I was like, Lord, I can't die now. And you know, Angie, he spared me. And then he took little Retta and Joe, and I was like, Lord, that ain't right. Who are you to tell God that? How many years have been, Ella Jefferson? How many? 22. And I'm still saying, Lord, I ain't seen the good out of that yet. God don't have to get our approval. God don't need our okay. He don't even need us to understand why he does what he does. I'm sovereign. I am God all by myself. And you better work on you. And let me. Y'all, we say folks better stop judging folks and putting people places. And we better ask God to help us make sure we are ready to make it. We ready to make it. Let me work on me, Lord. Let me work on me. Amen. And not only let me work on me, let, 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 let me let you have huh, your perfect way in me. Because you know better what you want me to be than I do. So he told, amen, uh, Jeremiah, go to the potter's house. Let me tell you something. There's always something in the natural that God can use to show you spiritual revelation. And some of us so deep, amen, we waiting for God to drop something out of, waiting for a ladder like Jacob had. And God just said, when you get up in the morning, open up your eyes, look out your window. See all them birds out there in your yard. It said they never tall. They don't have a job. They don't, huh? But God makes sure every day, y'all, they get fed. And then I'm worried about, am I going to eat? The devil is a liar, Brent. He is a liar. He said, I want you to show him, and this is the word I want to give you for Israel. And he said, I don't want you to say nothing. Sometimes we talk too much. He said, I want you to just go down to the potter's house, find your behind a seat, and just shut up and watch. Mm. Sometimes that's the hardest thing for me to do, Michael, is to shut up my mouth and watch God work, because I always got an opinion. Uh, I, I, I always analyze and stuff. I'm always trying to figure out why people do what they do. Because God said, that ain't none of your business. Man, because they're trying to figure out why you do what you do. But just shut up and watch. And say, so when he went there, the potter had a work on the wheels. Mm, I wanted to deal with the wheels, but I'm going to leave that alone. Jesus. Had to work on the wheels, on the wheels. Sometimes work is complicated, y'all. Mm. 
Amen. They figured out that if I really want to shape a pot, instead of me going, walking all around the table trying to fix the pot, why don't I just make me a wheel that'll spin? <laughs> and I, and they, I, I, I can imagine they spent the wheel, Mother Gallup, you know, and they one hand spinning the wheel and the other hand trying to shade. Then somebody said, well, why don't I put another wheel under this wheel and, and make it away so I can crank that wheel with my feet. And when that wheel get to crank it, it'll turn the other one. Uh, and, 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 and when both of them wheels get to working, gee, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. <laughs> when the wheels get to turning, sometimes the wheels in our little head, Brenda, just get turning. And we, <laughs> we, we run ourselves crazy trying to figure out what the wheels do. But they learn just to put it together where the wheels complement each other and, and then all their hands was free. Sometimes God got the wheels in your life turning and you wonder why in the world am I spinning like I'm spinning, huh? huh? And God got you in his hand all the time because he want to shape you. He trying to shape you. He, you are work in progress. You are on the wheel of life. And God is making you and molding you and shaping you. Hallelujah. We all got to understand that we all on our own the wheel and we all a work in progress. Amen. Please be patient with me. Because God is not done with me yet. And he's not done with you. He's not done with us. Amen. Because when he get done with us, guess what? Not only is he going to rest. There's still a rest for the people of God. Oh, yes. And, and, and we got to make sure we labor so we don't, amen, so we can enter into that rest. Work, 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 work. This year, I need to do some work. I need to do some work. I got some things I've been saying I'm going to do for a long time, and, they, and I ain't working on them like I ought to be. And they're undone. God, don't let you come and catch me with my works undone. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it's day because night cometh. Ah, the day is far spent and the night is at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness. Oh, I hope somebody hearing today put on the arm of light. Jesus. Nothing happens until work is done. Can I say that again? Nothing happens until work is done. What's your job? <laughs> what are you working on? What are you producing? <laughs> Jesus. I'm working out what God has wrought in me. Huh? Because I know if I, amen, learn how to tap into what the Holy Ghost have placed in me, amen, I'll be more productive. I, I'll be more prosperous. I'll be more effective. I'll get more done working on me than I will working on you. Uh, hallelujah. I'll get more done focusing on what God have called uh, me to do. Jesus. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens until some work is done. And so Jeremiah went and found him a seat and shut up. And he said, while he was there, the potter 
rot or work on the wheels. Rot. That's an old archaic term that we don't use too much. It's just the past tense of work. Worked. He worked it. He worked it. He worked that wheel and he worked that clay. He worked that wheel and he worked that clay. And to be real good at it, he had to be a little bit of what they call ambidextrous. He had to be able to use both hands and, and both feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I think uh, Minister Nixon called it multitask. <laughs> Hallelujah. Try. Amen. Have you ever tried to do two things at, at one time? Amen. Sometimes it ain't easy, but God is a God created multitask. He heard your prayers and mine and a huh, a hundred billion more, and, and he don't get them none of them mixed up. He don't deliver you my job, amen, and give amen, me your call. God, I don't need this car. I, I asked for a job. Okay, all right, send it back, send it back. Oh, he working it out, y'all. He is working it out. And what we got to learn how to do is say, Lord, do what you do. Trust God to do what he does. Even if 20 years later, you still don't understand what he's doing. Still, you, I still got to trust. I still got to trust that it all going to turn out huh, for the good. I'm almost finished. So, amen. Work is simply exertion or effort directed to produce or to accomplish something. Effort. 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 Exertion. If we don't exert any effort, we're not going to get no work done. Hmm? Have you ever met anybody who was real good at critiquing other people's work? They only could work in a managerial position. Uh, AJ, you know what I'm talking about. I need you to do this, and I need you to do that, and I need you to do that. You ever wonder, well, what do you do? God didn't manage the creation of the earth. He created it. Huh? And the reason Bishop Barton was so committed to this work because he didn't sit around and ask somebody else to do it. He got in there with his hands and his feet and he, and, and he exerted energy. Whew, man, did he exert energy. He worked so hard until you would get tired watching him work. But not only would you get tired watching, you would feel embarrassed if you let him do all that work and you didn't put your hands on nothing. He had us as boys working, didn't he? Amen. I remember when he needed a hand, he'd call Hazel to uh, <laughs> send Charles and Wayne. So the lynch, huh? And I tell you, everyone that responded is blessed today. It's blessed today. It's the labor of your hands that blesses you. It's the work that you do that produces an effect for you. My daddy, he believed in work. So son, if you don't work, you simply don't. He very, had very little tolerance for lazy people. Jeez. Work and laziness do not go together. Hmm? Some people don't know how to stop working. Re 
Rebecca married to one of them. It just, just work. She just work. Just work. And if they didn't go to work, they'd find something else to do. But we got people in church that think God going to bless us with our hands folded and our legs crossed. Huh? You think you're going to grow spiritually and you don't like to read? You think you're going to learn the mysteries of godliness and you don't allow it to talk to God? You can read, and if you don't talk to God, you won't know what you're reading. The eunuch learned that. Amen. He said, hey, he was just reading. People walked up to him and said, uh, do, you, do you understand what you're reading? He said, man, I'm just reading, and I ain't got a clue what this means. Huh? He said, how can I accept some man guide me? It's hard to get men to sit at the feet of men and learn now. Jesus. A man feel like it's an insult to be taught. Much less to be instructed or told what they ought to do. I'm, I'm, I'm grown like you. You better get crawled back up on that wheel. You better throw your rope up there and pull yourself back up and get back on that wheel and say, work, work it, Lord, work it. Because I am a work in progress. I am 66 years old, been in church all of my life. I ain't been saved all of my life, but I've been in church all of my life. Huh? And I still don't know it all. Hallelujah. 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 I still don't know it all. I'm still asking God, why, Lord? How, Lord? Amen. And, and then I'm learning that sometimes I just got to say, Lord, your grace yes. is yes. sufficient. Yes. Yes. Lord, now I understand. I will never know it all, Brenda. I, don't, I won't ever know why he did what he did. But you know what? I've learned to be so glad. So glad that he did. Glad that he didn't let some plans that I had work out. That's part of being on the wheel. Jesus. He says, he watched, he watched. And when it looked like that vessel was finished, and to the untrained eye, they would have said, whoa, that look good. I'm almost, I ain't finished, but I'm gonna quit. Untrained eye, Brenda would have said, whoa, that's a pretty vase. Man, I wish I could make one like that. Hmm. But the guy that made it, the potter said, this is not what I intended it to be. It's flawed. It's beneath my standards. Ah, oh, hallelujah. I don't make stuff like this. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, have you ever looked in the mirror and saw your own flaws? <laughs> and said, God, I need remake. Amen. Most folks want to put on makeup. Amen. No, God don't want you made up. He wants you remade. Amen. He don't, ah, he don't want new eyelashes, huh? He want new eyes. Oh, hallelujah. He don't want lipstick. Ah, ah, God, he wants stammering lips and speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. God don't want huh? dangling earrings. Sometimes they'll cause your ears to itch. But y'all, I'm speaking metaphorically now. Don't nobody get up and say, Lord, Pastor, I told me I can't wear no earring. No, no, no. A metaphor, metaphor, metaphorically. 
Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Sometimes we want to sit in church and make ourselves up by copying somebody else's testimony, by copying somebody else's sermon or message. And God said, hey amen, I want to give you a test. I'm going to test you, and when I get done, you're going to have your own testimony. Hallelujah. I'm going to come in the middle of your mess, uh, and when I get done, you're going to have your own message. Uh, God, hallelujah, I'm a work in progress. And he's still making me. He's still making me. Jesus. And when somebody else would say, man, I sure like to have what Ella Martin had. I sure like to be like, huh? I wish I could preach like so and so preach. No, no, no. God didn't call you to preach like so and so. God didn't call you to, amen, covet somebody else's blessing. Because what God got for you is better. Oh, oh, I wish somebody would hear me. What God wants for you, AJ, is better. Oh, better than anything I got. Hallelujah. Because it's designed by him specifically for you. He going to meet your needs. He's not going to give you a wife like my wife. He gonna give you a wife like, ah, hallelujah. You need to complete you, hallelujah. Man, he didn't make up anything out of Adam. He took something Adam already had and fashioned it so it fit right perfect, hallelujah. Can't nobody walk on my arm like Sharon because he made her to fit. A work in progress. A work in progress. And he said, when I make it, and if it ain't like I want to, get back on the wheel. Get back on the wheel. Get back on the wheel. Lord, are you going to try? Can you teach your teach old dog new tricks? Huh. You can turn an old dog into a new dog. That's the God I serve. Oh, he ain't got to teach an old God, an old dog new tricks. Huh? He just made me into a new dog. Huh? Hallelujah. I'm just his puppet. Ah. Glory. Hallelujah. Not puppy, puppet. Hallelujah. I just want to be used by him. I just want to look up and see those strings still attached. Hallelujah. God's still working me, Brent. Lord, hey amen. I ain't got enough sense to go this way. Take that string and order my steps. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. God, take your string and turn me around. Glory, huh? Jesus. God, I just want to get on the wheel. I just want to be a work in progress. I just want to be a work in progress. I want God to exert some energy on me so that he can transfer, amen, my weakness to his energy. Hallelujah. And what I was trying to do in the flesh, now, hallelujah, I operate in the spirit. And it's a whole lot easier. You can flow in the spirit. Ah, hallelujah. You can perform in the spirit, you can get results in the spirit. Jesus. If you let him work, let him do his work. Let him do his work. Amen. I'm going to say this and we're going to close. Jesus. You don't do work sitting at home. I know people work from home. Jesus. But even if you work from home, you need you a little spot, a corner. Huh? That the children know when that door closed. Huh? Jeez. I'm busy. Uh, don't, don't disturb me now. Amen. I ain't on your time. I'm on my employer's time. 
Huh? Don't you know even when you work at from home, your employer would know whether you're working or goofing off? Because you don't get nothing done if you don't put no effort in it. Huh? And you don't do, amen, huh? A mountain of work sitting at home watching soap operas. It won't work like that, will it, Brenda? You don't know how many cases you looked at, how many, huh, requests you fulfilled, amen. How many people talked to you and you gave them the answers they need because if they keep been calling you and can't get you, they're going to call somebody else and they're going to know you ain't working. Respect the work zone. Respect the work zone. Jesus. Work zones are dangerous places. If you're in construction, you wear a hard hat. Jesus. If you're a road worker, you wear a reflective vest so somebody can see you from far away. Jesus. If you are in a construction crew, you always got to remember to look at as cranes and Bricks and, amen, beams falling out the air. Jesus. Respect the work zone. Work with caution. Jesus. Man. We trampling among demons. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. There's an adversary that a man lurks in the work zone because he knows some careless workers in there. There's some folks in church that don't need to be there when the prayer line going on, when demons being cast out because they ain't praying and them demons gonna jump out of somebody else and jump on you because you don't respect the work zone. We don't come in here to socialize and to show how good we are and what we can do. We come in here to cast out devils, to lay hands on the sick, and they recover to get a word to change me. Me. I'm a work in progress. And when hands are being laid on, somebody lay your hand on me. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Work in progress. A work in progress. A work in progress. I'm fully persuaded that he who hath begun a good work in you. Jesus. Huh? Ah. That he gonna keep it going till the day of Jesus Christ. And he ain't finished with you until he cracked the sky. So if you think you got it made, you just missed it. Jesus. If you think you don't have to do nothing else, you already lost. If you think you finished, I got news for you. When you finish, he gonna take you out of here. That's what Jesus prayed in the 17th chapter of St. John. So Lord, I, I've, I've, I've finished the work that you sent me here to do. I, I, I'm ready now. I, 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 amen. All that you have given me, I have kept, except the son of perdition. The rest of them I've hung on to. Uh, hallelujah. And I've done what you called me here to do. Uh, amen. That souls might be given eternal life. Uh, uh, don't you know we're doing kingdom work here? It ain't about the best singer or the best dress or the prettiest hat. Jesus. It's about who can bring in souls to the kingdom of God, who can affect their downline. Ain't that nothing until the Holy Ghost is in these cheering. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Huh? Oh, ain't done nothing until, amen, God used me to snatch Huh? Somebody out of the jaws of the enemy. Yes. That's what I'm here for. We sitting around watch the devil steal our chickens. Watching the foxes and the possums. And we ain't got enough sense to patch a hole. 
Ah. Your chicken pen ain't safe. Jesus. How your chickens gonna survive? Huh? Jesus. Ha ha ha! Glory! Jesus. You think the fox is playing? I got news for you. The fox is not playing. The fox is set to devour. Your adversary, the devil, is out like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Jesus. Jesus. Instead of showing up for work, Pastor Martin reporting for duty. What you want me to do? I want you to be the watchman on the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Jesus. Sunday school teacher showing up for duty. What I want you to do? I want you to feed my sheep and feed my lambs. I want you to teach my babies that Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Hallelujah. Season women. Amen. Reporting for duty. Lord, I can't run like I used to. What you want me to do? I want the older women to teach the younger women to be chaste and keep us at home. Because I still got work to do. Arthritis can't stop you from telling that young lady, honey, hey man, raise your neckline and lower your hemline. Why? Hallelujah. Why, Lord? Why? Jesus. Because you represent a holy God. A righteous God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother, brothers. Jesus. Hear the instruction of a father. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. It'll make you wise. It'll make you wise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's time to go to work, church. Man, vacation over, y'all. Hallelujah. Get off the cruise boat. Get on the old ship of Zion. Hey. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Brother, stop getting those hands manicured. Jesus. Just long enough to put your hands in some dirt. And reach down and pick somebody up. Oh, y'all ain't. Uh. We must work the works of him that sent us. Wow. It is day for night cometh. Jesus, I got to quit, y'all. I got to quit now. Ephesians, Ephesians, ye hath he quickened who were dead, trespasses, in sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't save us to just come to church and be a member, just to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, he saved us because we are his workmanship created unto what? Good works. 
No, you're saved by grace. You're not saved by works, but your works going to follow you. And faith without works. We've got too many dead folk in church full of dead faith. Let us stand. Jesus. Jesus. You know, I had an apostle tell us this weekend, you know, y'all, <laughs> think he was talking to me. Setting y'all timers and giving these sermonettes. He says, sermonettes make Christianettes. Oh. Jesus. Can't get you in here but once a week. Gee, I better keep you here at least an hour. Jesus. Because we don't need no Christian nets. Jesus. Huh? We need real, full grown, mature Christians that can give an account to every man of the hope that you have in you. If you don't know, way, man, that you save and going to heaven, then how are you going to help somebody else? Everybody saved today. You say, yeah, I'm saved. Where you go to church? Uh, 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 uh. What's your pastor name? Shoot, online. They zooming, brother. Who's zooming who? Jesus. Hallelujah.